Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to You Live Everything in Wonder and welcome back to Italy. My name is Luca, this is my wife Sara, and this beautiful little lady is our daughter Luce. We have something to tell you. We made the decision. We are back to Sicily. We wish it was that easy, but, but unfortunately it's not that easy. We need to load the van, we need to hit the road, get on a ferry, and then finally after about 20 hours on a ferry, we'll be in Sicily. Ready to go to Sicily? Bye bye, Lucky Land. See you soon. Okay, guys, we stopped here in Genova. We arrived in Genova safely. Yeah. Yeah. La bimba e bimbi Sì? Tanti We stop at uh, Ikea and uh, obviously Luce wants everything We need to be at the harbor at the port at 8.30 so we have some time and then the ferry will leave the port at 10.30 Yeah And Luce is relaxing Good evening, Luce. Are you editing the video? Si. Si? Good job, good job. Next video edited by Luce Sguazzini. Luca and I were talking about a pretty recent news about a super massive leak that contains data from numerous previous breaches spanning over 26 billion records. The leak which contains LinkedIn, Twitter and other platforms user data is almost certainly the largest ever discovered. And speaking about that, I would like to take a moment to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's episode which is NordVPN. What is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Connection. It is a service that protects your internet connection and your privacy online. VPNs create an encrypted tunnel for your data to prevent third parties from intercepting your traffic, protect your online identity by hiding your IP address, and allow you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. News about a service or a website being hacked and password being stolen is common these days, but what does it mean for you? Data breach is a security incident which occurs when a company leaks personal user information. This data may include names, passwords, email addresses, financial information or private information that can be used for personal gain. Just think about the information you are sending every day over email or if someone got into your online banking system. Using the same login detail for different platforms or different services can be very dangerous and changing password from time to time is a must. And we also recommend to use NordVPN to protect your online identity. It is super easy to use. You click one button and you log on NordVPN. 
and with one account you can protect up to six devices. If you click a unique link in the description box below this video, nordvpn.com slash leaw, you can get four months extra on a two-year plan and if you don't like it, you can get your money back within 30 days. So thank you so much to NordVPN and now let's go back to our fairy adventure. One of beautiful people we just woke up we are in Sicily we arrived at our village last night and we will be renting an apartment a tiny apartment till the plumbing work is done is finished and now we are going to rescue our car we are going to feed the cats we are going to see our olive grove we are going to check our house um, so this morning will be super super exciting we feel in the right place we feel at peace now that we are here and we can't wait to see everything like we yeah we miss this place uh -huh. like this Okay. Taduta. 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 Let's go. Okay, we parked the van up there. We are sleeping in here for a few days. Accommodation for a few nights. <laughs> he, wants, he wants to go to the cats. We already <laughs> got a bag. First thing in the morning, like you arrived last night. Papa is food. Yeah, she wants to feed the cat. Yeah? <laughs> okay, and we are going to rescue our car to see if it starts. And the view, as always, is breathtaking. We missed this so much. <laughs> I can't wait to say hi to all our friends uh, here in the village uh, and uh, go and see our house, uh, our land, our olive grove, uh, our olive trees. Uh. And we will tour everything today. Yeah. Also, we will share everything with you guys. This is just it's the first time. First time in 2024. Uh, but it, it feels like that is the first time. Okay. Let's see if we, it will start. We got our car back, uh, it started at uh, the first attempt, uh, super good, now we will leave the van over here, we'll get the car and let's go and see our olive grove. Uh, it, we know it has been uh, windy uh, the last few weeks, uh, so let's see if there is any damage or if uh, everything is uh, 
It's still okay and perfect uh, over there. Da. Luce di cam. Nam. Di. Nam dan tama. Mamma dan de. Mamma dan de. The mom? Mom went away for a second. Mamma mi tama. Mamma tua. Mi tama. Mi tama. Mi tama. Mi tama. Do they have water, Luce? Have we check the water? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Paradise. Uh, we are back on the olive grove, guys. So listen, nice. listen to the sound of nature. energy and the power of this land is absolutely incredible oh, so good to be here again <laughs> how do you feel amore i feel really good yeah i can't wait uh, to be able to stay here all day and all night uh, we cannot get here with the van yet uh, so um, we never slept uh, on this property yet so that uh, it's something that we are really looking forward. Yeah. But it will take a while. Step by step. No rush. This is the stone house, little stone house that we would like to renovate and then build something else somewhere. We are full of oranges, full of clementines, full of lemons. 
We will give you a, a tour. Yeah, let's go. We bought this property last year in July. Yes, 2023. Yes, and it's about four acres, 1.5 hectares. <coughs> and we have the most amazing sea view ever. <laughs> Like, we have seen over 60 properties in Sicily. It's really hard to find a property with all the break the, I mean... The features we were looking for. Yeah, we were looking for really strict uh, guidelines. Uh, we didn't want to have uh, roads uh, that was were noisy, that you could see, that you could hear. Uh, or power lines uh, in front. We wanted to have uh, the view nice and clean and clear we wanted to have our privacy we wanted there were so many things that we wanted that it was really hard uh, just to find properties to go and see them uh, because uh, just from the ads we could already know and see that uh, there were these uh, break dealers that we didn't want to uh, accept we have 115 olive trees some of them are over 1,000 years old and most of them are very ancient. So the, the land was abandoned, has been abandoned for about 20 years. So nobody was taking care of the land. Nobody was collecting the, and making extra virgin olive oil. Last year we were able to, to make our first extra virgin olive oil, totally organic and was cold pressed from the moment we collected all the olives to the moment that we pressed the olives. I think that we took less than nine hours and the quality of the extra virgin olive oil, it's just really high. We are still in the process to see how we can sell the extra virgin olive oil abroad. It will take a while, but we are sure that when you guys will be able to, to taste our oil, you will be not disappointed. Yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, yes. this year we'll be able to do it. Uh, but let's go around, let's show you around. Uh, so this is the little house, uh, really ancient stone house uh, we have here on the property. Ah, there is also something that we need to tell you guys. Now Luca will explain <laughs> you what is going on down there. <laughs> In December, before we left uh, Sicily, Nunzio, our neighbor, and I, we came here and we said, okay, let's plant uh, one kilo of fava beans and let's see what happens. Beautiful people, today is the 5th of uh, December and uh, I'm here on the olive grove with Nunzio and uh, we will be planting the fava beans. Uh, he's already working over there. Let me get some tools uh, and uh, get to work with him. 5th, uh, number 5 of December. First year, 2023. Exciting. So from December, now we are in February and you can already see the plants growing. We, so big question mark. Was a big question mark because there are wild pigs. Yeah. Luce would like to film. Sorry guys. Luce is filming. Okay. She's taking over yeah, the, like the channel. <laughs> Papa Palla. Okay, yes. Yeah, She's saying no. Daddy, speak. talk. Talk. Let's make it like this. So it's just a bit of... Okay. December is the right moment to plant uh, the fava beans uh, and uh, these are really good because uh, once you collect the fava beans uh, and uh, eat them, we already eat uh, here and we love them. Uh, then uh, what you leave uh, there, it will give, uh, it's uh, like a fertilizer for the soil. So that is really good, it's a natural way to give uh, 
nutrients uh, to the olive trees. It was a huge question mark if they would survive because uh, basically we plant them and then we never came here to check on them, uh, to water them, uh, to check if the wild pigs uh, were digging. Uh, because wild pigs, they don't eat uh, the fava bean, they don't eat the plant. Uh, but once you put uh, the bean under the ground, uh, they will go there and they will dig because they want to see, they are curious, they want to see what, uh, what we put under the ground. So, they actually probably took uh, two or three, maybe five uh, plants, uh, but uh, all the rest are still there. This is our garden tree. This is the grandpa of all the olive trees we have. There is also a face right here. So, these woman. I like to think that this is a, kind of the mother of everything. She's looking and she's taking care of the entire land and this tree is over 1000 years old. It's a monument. We were able to collect some olives also from this tree and just mind-blowing to think that it's still producing something. Then we have many fruit trees. are some clementines Hello mamma Mamma ti aiuto? We have fig trees, we have pear trees, we have apricots, persimmon, olives. <laughs> yes. And we would like to plant also other other trees. Here we have other oranges. Now it's the right time to prune the olive trees. We don't know if this year we will make it in time. Our plan was to come here earlier in January and to start the pruning of the trees. Um, but you know what happened. So we arrived in Sicily probably too late this year. Um, so we will try. We will yes, try, we'll try to do a few trees. Not, not all the trees probably, but one part of the trees. If not, we will do it next year. It's a red. Yes. No, Gimba. Lucia loves them. Buona? Is it sweet? Okay, we are leaving uh, our olive grove and now we are driving uh, up to our house so we can check if it's everything okay, how is the house. Let's go, we will give you a tour also of the house. This is the house, this is the apartment that we are renting right now till we don't have all the connection in the house so that we can move. And this is our welcome lunch. Our neighbor, Caterina, you know, she's pretty famous. <laughs> she cooked this for us, first day first. We feel very, very blessed. Yes. Spoiled. Spoiled. This is pasta filled with, I don't know, peas and cheese and then some tomato sauce. A lot of pizza. delicious stuff. Yeah, buon appetito. This is better than pizza, my chef. Yeah, yeah. You know, 
papa. This is the happy dance. This is the delicious food dance. And this is the house that we are renovating. Please come in. Okay, sorry for the mess guys, but this is the reality. Okay, we have the entrance of our house and here you can see the door of our bathroom number one, bathroom number two and the kitchen. Bathroom number two and kitchen. Yes, here we have a little storage and here we have the access for our basement. Now, welcome to the heart of our house. It is the living room. We kept the original Sicilian floor that you can see, it's amazing, we love that. We fall in love with the floor immediately. Everything that you are seeing in here, the furniture, is not the right place here and in the bedroom, but we got this second hand. We got also the table, a half moon table with the chair second hand. This is something that will go in the bathroom. And of course, we fell in love with this ceiling this wall ceiling and with the amazing view that we will show you from the balcony we have two balconies one in the living room and the second one in the bedroom here we have now luce playing luce playing we bought a new bed and a new mattress but everything else you can see we got this table for free second hand chair second hand this will go in the kitchen second hand table and chair this one is beautiful i, I believe it's one of the most ex expensive yes. uh, furniture yes. we here, that we bought very beautiful and it also will be uh, will become bigger than this and this will go the entrance you know this is where all the mess is right now exactly. the bed is really huge yeah it's two meter by two meter here in this corner we have Lucha's bed and Lucha's corner with all uh, the toys. Beautiful doll. This is the second balcony. Yeah. With the view. So now we will try to keep the house pretty empty. We would like to enjoy the space that we have. Probably in the future we will add a cabinet, a wardrobe, a closet here in the room. But for now, this is the alcove and will be Lucha's bedroom in the future. For now will be our walk-in wardrobe room. Let's keep the tour. Yeah. From here, we can get uh, into the kitchen. So as you can see, it's a huge mess because here is where I was welding all the plumbing, all the copper pipes uh, that goes uh, over there in the second bathroom where the shower will be and uh, over here in the main bathroom yeah. where we have uh, the toilet, uh, uh, shower, half bath. The big job was to keep this, this chessboard flooring. A lot of you say it's terrible, a lot of you say it's beautiful. We love it, we would like to keep it as part of the house and yeah. This is the project. Yeah, so here we are back at the entrance uh, where we, we started. <laughs> yes, so over here it will be the, the second bathroom where the shower will be, a huge uh, um, mirror where Sarah can dry her hair and have a huge mirror. And now I will show you also the, the little uh, first bathroom over there. Here we have the washing machine uh, that we need to install. Uh, Do we have a light in here? Yes, yes we have a light. <laughs> so the next project, uh, next week, uh, the um, a plumber is coming to help me to finish everything, install the VC, the bidet, the, the sink, everything. Uh, because uh, we would like to move in uh, as soon as possible. We need uh, to have at least the bathroom finished. So that's our project for next week. And then uh, as soon as we move in, uh, we can uh, install also the washing machine, which is really important when you have a daughter like Luce. As you can see, we, especially Sara, she's all dirty. I'm always like this. 
she likes to play in the dirt uh, and uh, in the mud. Uh. We still have to buy the kitchen. For now, we we'll use a camping stove, the one that we used, you know, uh, while we were traveling. In the van. In the van. Figure out what we do here in the entrance. It's pretty big, so we would like to use this space. And we already have the fridge. Yeah, yeah, that's that the fridge be... we bought, second-hand fridge. After that, the next project, a huge project, will be the electrics. Yeah. Everything uh, we, we bought uh, to put all the electric uh, here we'll will be exposed. It will be uh, like old uh, houses uh, with porcelain uh, uh, appliance. Uh, it will be really nice uh, and I can't wait to start working on that. Another project that we have never done before so this will be another first time for us ciao people ciao people we are back we are back and it feels so good to be back good back and good yes back and good we can't wait to start all the projects really exciting really happy to be back here and uh, Getting the, the hands dirty again, uh, the yeah. tools in our hands. If you like today's episode, please share it to us, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We love you, we appreciate you and thank you for coming along with us. We will see you next Sunday and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful and love always wins. L'amore. Vinta sempre. L'amore vince, vince sempre. sempre. <laughs> Love always wins. So we'll see you next Sunday with another beautiful yeah. episode of the house renovation. Please let us know if you have any questions about the house. So see you Sunday here in Sicily. See. Next week. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go in the broom broom back house. Let's go also to take a shower. Una <laughs> curare <laughs> Ale. Non manca più nessuno. <ride> Solo non si vedono. Ci sono due coccodrilli e un tango tango. Papà zitto. Zitto. Zitto e fermo. Zitto e fermo. <ride> Un'acqua reale? Il gatto?